And new developments in the murder case of beloved Memphis Reverend Atura Eason Williams tonight. One of the two teenagers charged with the murder will be tried as an adult and the other will not. 15-year-old Miguel Andre currently has a $200,000 bond. ABC 24 was in the Shelby County Juvenile Court today when Judge Tariq Sugarman made the ruling. If Andre posts bond, he will have GPS monitoring, alcohol and drug counseling, and daily drug screening reports. Easton Williams died back in July when police say someone killed her in her Whitehaven driveway during an attempted carjacking. The state withdrew the petition for an adult transfer for the second teenager involved, however. The defense and state prosecutors agreed to place the 17-year-old into DS DCS custody until he turns 19. His attorney says his client uh, has pled guilty to the charges and he's cooperating with authorities and that probably led to some leniency in this case. My client absolutely was there. He was driving one of the vehicles. Uh, he participated, but um, he did not fire shots. He uh, did not get out of the vehicle. Um, and as I said before, he, he has been cooperating with law enforcement from the beginning. So uh, one of the, the factors uh, that you, you look at before you transfer somebody is uh, of course, their involvement, their amenability to, to correction and rehabilitation, and uh, having somebody so young without really any significant contacts with the court, uh, having uh, limited involvement in this offense, and being willing to, to cooperate from the beginning shows that uh, he is essentially a, a life worth saving. Attorney Ballon says it's possible that his client could testify against the defendants. That 15-year-old Andre, who I mentioned, as well as 21-year-old Edward Rodriguez Tabora, they're both now being tried as adults. A tragic situation for several families tonight, but one community mentor says it's important to correct the mentality of those even behind bars. Our Rebecca Butcher has more on that. Well, Dr. Futrell, who works with inmates and those who have been released, says his focus is entrepreneurship as well as education. He also knew Dr. Artur Eason Williams, who was killed just outside of her home. A loving wife? You don't replace someone like Artur because she is sent to someone that God sent along. And Memphis pastor, whose life was cut short when Memphis police say a teen shot and killed her in her Whitehaven driveway. I don't, I don't think any of us can escape culpability for a 15-year-old creating or being involved in a crime like that. So it's on all of us. Dr. Jeffrey Ryan Futrell through Young Man University mentors inmates. The choice I made landed me in prison. My choices. Ask me why I do that now? Never. I never, never. My choices is different. My choices were poor. And I was young, I was 18, 19. Altonius Myers went through his program when he was released from prison. For him, it's been life changing. That was a soul searching purpose for us. Like, cause at first I came home to Memphis, I came back to Memphis, I'm like, I'm in tap, still the sign. So he used to always drill me with that, who are you? So go look in the mirror, go sit in the mirror. A look in the mirror as part of what Dr. Futrell calls a debriefing. For us to waste all that time and not extract positive information from it so we can kind of have things to prevent this from happening again. He has something to offer. His program, Freedom of Release, is about re-inspiring dreams, hopes, and purpose. And some things prison is going to take away from you can't replace. So what you have to learn to do now is strategize. How am I going to restructure a positive life with pieces that will always be missing? In other words, rekindling what was lost. And Dr. Futrell also says that communications between the generations is also imperative. Richard. All right, thank you, Rebecca. Well, three years ago today, two Collierville students were fatally shot in a drive-by shooting. Tonight, their family was honored and given hope to bring justice to their loved ones. Laquan Boyd and Ashlyn Luckett were honored at Collierville High School during a girls basketball game. The family of Laquan, 16 at the time, and his niece Ashlyn, age 6, received support in the form of cheers during halftime of the game. The women's basketball team and the ladies booster club also raised funds in hopes that it could help lead to an arrest. It was just devastating, you know, to hear about babies like that. You know, these are babies that were taken away that was taken away too soon. You know, my heart goes out to everybody, and I'm very appreciative of the school. In support, the students and family wore shirts that read LLA and LLQ, representing Long Live Ashlyn and Quan. The investigation is still ongoing tonight. If you or anyone you know have any information about the shooting, call Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH.